The following video will show you how to set up the Falcon GSM communicator to work with the Texacom panel. Make sure that the Falcon unit has a firmware version of 4.13 or later. For the Falcon to send signals to the control room while using the app, you have to connect it via tip and ring as well as via the COM port. The phone app is compatible with Texacom Premier 412, firmware version 10.0 or later, Premier 816, firmware version 10.0 or later, and Texacom Premier 832, firmware version 4.0 or later. In this example, we're using a Texacom Premier 412 with a firmware version of 11.13. Connect the Falcon to the Texacom panel through the serial port COM1 using the serial cable and adapter mark Texacom-IDS provided. Note that the adapter must be connected to the panel serial port with the adapter board facing the front and the black ground wire to the far right. Set the serial port format on the Falcon unit to Texacom. To do this, remove power from the Falcon. Hold down the push button and reapply power. Push the button to cycle through the panel serial port format options until you reach the Texacom format, indicated by a small letter T. Release the button. The Falcon will remember the new serial port format. On the Texacom keypad, enter the programming mode by entering the engineer's code. The default one is 1234, followed by menu, then 9. Enter 7, 0, and make sure that the digi options 1, 2, 5, and 8 are enabled. Press yes to save. Press 7, 1 to access menu 71 and program the following settings. Press 0. Enter 22 and press yes to save. Press 1. Enter 3, 4, 5, 6 as the account code and press yes to save. Press 2. Enter 4 to set the protocol type to contact ID. Press 3. Enter 1 to set the dialer attempts to 1. Press 4. Enable desired partitions and press yes to save. Press 5. Enable all report events and press yes to save. Press 8. Make sure that option 8, connect via IP, is disabled and press yes to save. Press menu to return to the home screen of the programming menu. Press 72 to access menu 72 and program the following settings. Press 0. Ensure that no telephone number is programmed and press yes to save. Press 1. Enter 3456 as the account code and press yes to save. Press 2. Enter 4 to set the protocol type to contact ID. Press 4. Enable all partitions and press yes to save. Press 5. Disable all report events and press yes to save. Press 8. Make sure that option 8, connect via IP, is enabled and press yes to save. Press menu to return to the home screen of the programming menu. Press 7, 6 to access menu 76 and program the following settings. Press 2. Enter the pin code to be used for arming and disarming the panel and press yes to save. Press 5. Enter 3 to set COM1 to COM IP device type for app connection. Press menu and then 99 to exit the programming menu. To connect the panel to the My Falcon app, go to your phone's app store. Search for My Falcon and tap install. Once downloaded, open the app.
Scroll through the welcome screens by tapping the arrow and select Get Started. Tap Sign Up and enter your personal details to create an account. password that is secure, but one that you will remember and tap Submit. Log in with these new details. After reading through this notification, tap OK. Tap Add Panel. Once you've completed all the steps on the screen, tap Continue. Tap on Scan QR Code and scan the QR code found on the sticker at the back of the Falcon. Tap Confirm. Tap Continue. Tap Tap to set device up. Enter your user code. This is the code you use to arm and disarm your panel on the keypad. My Falcon is just retrieving information from your panel. This should take no longer than 60 seconds. You're now at the partition screen where you can perform various actions on your alarm system. To test the app, arm and disarm the panel.